everybody. It's a nice Saturday morning and we are here at the uh, field days at Madrid. What's the official name of this, Jim? That's a museum. Um, I'm not sure what the official name is. You have to look it up. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get back to you on that. But we're standing here in front of a bunch of old horse-drawn equipment. Today we're here for a horse pull, but there are many uh, other fun activities around here to do and we hope to show you uh, because a lot of them are horse related. So here's just a little picture of some of the horse-drawn equipment they have here. What's that for, Jim? Pictures? I'm not sure. And this is a grader right here, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a horse drum one. Here's a, a large wheel uh, for logging. Wow, I love those wheels. Those are beautiful. This would crank down. Sick. These logging tongs would crank down and pick up this log by cranking it up. It's not something that's used really much in the North Country. I don't know. That's more of a, a western, from out west, I think. But uh, Here's a cute little sleigh. Anyways, we plan on um, sharing with you some of the things that are going on today. This is Buddy Dufresne, and he is showing us a carriage that he built. And behind him is a carriage house, and it has a lot of carriages in it that I didn't have a chance to show this time. So, so this is... Um, this vehicle here is uh, actually called a mud wagon. They were... Uh, it is called a mud wagon? This is a mud wagon. Uh, a stagecoach, a lot of the stagecoaches have got the round bottom. They're made in uh, Concord, New Hampshire. They're called the Concord Coach. Is there uh, some in there? Or there is, is it, not. There is not. That's the only stagecoach here. Um, the mud wagons were more out west. They were more rugged and built lighter. And uh, they were a lot cheaper than a Concord Coach. That was top of the line. Some architect made blueprints of this, which I... Uh, having the truck that this was built. Okay. Uh, most of the work was done here in Map Station, New York. Uh, loved every minute of it. Building these, standing in one spot, building these little pieces. So you uh, built this from nothing, just you? It, it actually got started by a, a gentleman that passed away and I got what he had started and uh, put many 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 hours into this. Mm, I can see uh, that. Wheels and axles were ordered in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. I kept it mo uh, mostly original but driver friendly. Then using your horses with it to yes. go for rides. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is a three-seater which would turn into a bed okay. and on long journeys they would swap off people riding uh, in the beds and on top, and then they would they would switch. So that is a solid roof, yeah. This, why don't you explain it? Yes, this is the original would be leather suspension. This is the material called granite. It doesn't. What's it, what's granite? This particular, that's the name of this material. Okay. Uh, huh. Joe and I ordered that for me, and uh -huh. and the characteristics are, won't stretch like leather. Oh. Uh, I just can't believe how it seems like you're, you'd be, you know, floating on a boat when you're in this thing. Does it, it rides ride nice. like it that? It takes, uh, takes a, a lot of the Amish like Bunks. springs under their steel wheels because of the vibration and you get none with this. Really? Uh, this is your brake system. It throws a cam, which in turn... Oh, oh. Nice. This is the original way the brakes would be. Well, thank you, bud, All for right. sharing with us. So I'm walking around the grounds, and I am 
just so surprised at all the things they have going on here. There's a circle mill here in operation. Everywhere I look, they're making new buildings every year. We come every year. This has been in operation for 30 years. This whole structure is new since last year. We may have taken the whole year off for COVID, I can't remember, but they've made a fort and they have Civil War um, reenactment days here at different times. So I think that has to do with this has to do with that. But this is amazing. I'm so... Oh, there's some Civil War reenactors right there. This organization is just amazing. They work together and they raise money and they build new structures and they're keeping things alive from the past and I'm really impressed if there's anybody that lives in this area and doesn't know about this I would highly recommend you stopping by they have um, these days in the spring and in the fall And here's the building they made a couple years ago for the horse pole. So here we have Tim Bango hitching onto the load. His pair is the smallest pair here by quite a bit, actually. And one of them is a mare with a, a colt that's over by the trail I should have showed you. Um, so they're at a disadvantage because they're so small compared to the rest of the teams. This is just a free-for-all class, so that means any weight horses can pull in this class. Go Thomas Iron Day. So here I'm headed out to hitch on with Bill and Buck and it's been good because for the last two weeks I've been able to work these two in the woods together so it gets them used to each other because they don't really work together that terribly much. And this is the first time they've ever gone to a horse pole and competed with each other.
Just wanted you to see who's behind the camera today. It was close, but they took the measuring tape out and measured it, and it was a full 15 feet. What I am attempting to do is hitch on to the stone bolt on an angle so when it starts it, it kind of spins it, it actually starts easier this way and then they will straighten it out and continue pulling and it worked out good for us. Here's Billy Thomas hitching on to the load and he didn't quite get it the full length so he felt his horses did what they could and he decided to call it quits. So Jerry Leclerc crossed the load and so now it's just down to two teams, Jerry and myself. Here, Jerry hitches onto the load. And he doesn't quite get the full distance of 15 feet. So he'll come back for his second hitch, which we failed to video, but he didn't quite make that load either. So now he's going back for his third hitch. In his third try, he was able to cross it the full 15 feet, but he went over the line, which disqualified that particular pole. So that puts him in second place, and it puts myself in first place. Okay, this is Jim coming from first. Second place is Gary Leclerc and the Rooster. Gary Leclerc. Second place. Yeah. 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 Look at it like face. Thanks, Jerry. Great. Thomas. Great coach.
Tom Fuzzy. Boy, he's got his groove. We're home from the pole, and here we have the winners. First place, they did very well for not having worked together at a horse pole before. Good job, Buck and Bill. And Jim has been in a hurry to get home because he has a little bit of hay that has to be bailed tonight, and it's Saturday afternoon so he wants to get that done good job today Billy good job Back it down. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. now they're gonna get maybe some afternoon snacks I'll give a little bit of second cut in just for Yeah, they deserve it. I gave them an apple too at the trailer. Okay. Well, minute. thanks for coming along with us today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope to see you again next time.